Hi everyone, welcome to IC Melanie. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a wax warmer. Now, I recently upgraded to bead slash bean wax, which requires a wax warmer like this one I just bought. I'll put a link in the description. So the wax goes into this little metal bowl you see, and after every use, there's always excess that needs to be cleaned out before the next waxing session. So I'm going to show you how to remove it relatively easily and quickly. Okay, so plug in your warmer and turn it up to the max. And then you want to put the bowl back in. You cover it up and let it sit for a few minutes so that the wax has time to melt. All right, the minutes have passed and so you want to take it out. Always be careful because the metal bowl is very hot. You can see it's melted there. So step one, you're going to want to take a piece of paper towel and a popsicle stick like the ones you would use when you're actually waxing. And you want to push it around as you see me doing here. Again, remember the bowl is hot, so try to handle the plastic parts. Okay, you're not going to be able to get all of it out. So what you're going to do next, step two, is add some oil. So I use some kitchen olive oil. You can use any oil you want. Um, the kitchen stuff is cheaper than using your beauty oil. So I just recommend just going in your kitchen, getting whatever cooking oil, and sloshing it around as you see me doing here. Then you put it back into the warm warmer. <laughs> Cover it up, let it sit and melt even more. So you can see now that you can kind of see how the, the wax and the oil have mixed together a little bit. And you're going to repeat the same process similar to before with a piece of paper towel, throw it in. You can use the same popsicle stick and you just move it around to try to um, wipe up all the oil and the remnant wax. Again, be careful because this is hot. So you can see it's just mostly grease left, right? Just the oil. You want to get inside like the little crevices at the corners to make sure you absorb all the wax that's left over, that was left over. All right, so now you're going to wash it out. So I recommend using dish soap as opposed to hand soap because it's better at absorbing oils. And so with like any other pot you have, you just want to wash it out. And now your wax warmer bowl is clean and ready for the next waxing session. Thank you so much for watching I See Melanie. It's been a long time since I've posted on here, so I appreciate everyone who's come back and welcome to those who are new. Make sure you like and subscribe and click the notification bell. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.